Hey friends, welcome back to the homestead. So today we have a quick and small chore that we need to get taken care of, but it's a very important one. So this is the car that my daughter usually drives around and it's time for an oil change. So I figure I'd take you along and show you what you gotta do to make sure that you're taking care of your vehicles, taking care of the people in your life. Um, and as men, I think it's important that we know how to do things and we take that responsibility on ourselves. Uh, not necessarily that we have to do them all the time, but if something came up and we needed to know how to do it, I think that that's the most important part. We will need a few basic tools to make this happen, simple ratchet or a socket set. Sometimes you need a oil filter wrench, but most of the time I'm able to get it off with my bare hands. Beyond that, we'll just need something to lift the car. Usually a jack works well, but make sure that you've got some good sturdy jack stands. It's also nice to have uh, gloves and rags uh, close by just to kind of keep things clean and, uh, and tidied up because it does get a little bit messy. Let's check and see where we're at. You can see how, uh, how black and uh, dark it is. Shouldn't smell weird or anything, should just smell like oil. But uh, we'll go ahead and drain that out, get it replaced, and uh, change, out that, uh, change out that oil filter too. So when we get the jack under there, we wanna make sure that we are lifting it up so that it's putting pressure on the frame. Now it doesn't have to be a crazy amount in the air, just enough so that we can slide up under there and get to that one bolt that's holding all the oil in. Now do yourself a favor and get yourself a jack stand or a set of jack stands. This is just gonna protect you. These hydraulic jacks, they're meant to lift things. They're not meant to hold things necessarily. It'll hold it for a little bit, but the risk of something letting loose and breaking is too great. This creates a physical connection to the ground that's not gonna go anywhere. If for some reason the car tries to fall, it's not gonna fall and crush you. There, that's the hard part. Now we just gotta put a pan under there. Now your oil pan doesn't have to be anything fancy. I've got this old chafing dish. I actually like to use the disposable ones. We usually have a bunch of those lying around, but all I could find was the small ones. You do wanna make sure that it can handle anywhere from four to five quarts of oil, depending on your vehicle and how much oil it takes, because that's all gonna be draining into this pan. So when you slide up under here, try to get yourself into a comfortable position and take your phone out of your pocket, because you'll end up crushing that and breaking it. So there's a couple of things that we're looking for under here. The first one is this little bolt right here. Now don't be afraid of what you're looking at. You're looking for a large pan that's attached to the engine in some capacity. So it'll usually be near the front of the car. And then there'll be a bolt on the, usually on the, the side or on the, the bottom edge of it where all of the oil can drain out of. Uh, so you're not gonna wanna take off a bolt that's attaching it to anything, but you'll see where it's a plug. You know, just take that, loosen that up, and uh, that'll drain all the oil. Now, the other thing that we're looking for is the oil filter. Now on this car, it's right here. Really easy to access. A lot of times they're kind of up on the side or kind of in a precarious area. Uh, this one's actually pretty easy. Uh, so we should be able to get a good handle, hand hold on that and turn it and take that off and replace it pretty easy. But as far as the actual changing of the oil, just grab your ratchet. Always put at least one, uh, one socket on there. It's gonna be wrong. I never get it on the first try. This one I got 916, so I just need to go a little bit bigger, and grab a bigger one. So I'll be right back. All right, let's try the 15 millimeter. Holy cow. See, that's what happens when you take it to a, a shop and they use that stinking air ratchet on there. It's always going to be tighter than it needs to be. So. What I usually try to do is put my hand above the bolt because oil is gonna start spewing out of there. And if your car has been running, it's gonna be a little hot, so watch out. But keep a good hold of this because it's going to uh, drop out of your hand and into your bucket of oil and just make a big old mess. So try to avoid that as much as possible. 
Here we go. And aha. And put it on some cardboard or a board that you've got beside you. Keep the mess contained. And where'd my rag go? Did I leave it up here? Yep. So now this will just drain out. Should be about four quarts or so, four or five quarts total. Then we'll have some oil in the uh, oil filter as well. Doesn't take long, a little bit of patience. This is a great way to kind of learn how to start working on your car and doing basic maintenance. With the right tools, it makes it a lot easier, but honestly, you can do this with a, a crescent wrench if you needed to, so. So once the majority of the oil is drained, and it starts to just do those little drips and slide that plug back in there and just finger tighten it for right now and then we can grab our socket wrench switch it back over to righty tighty and then it doesn't have to be super tight just tight enough where it's not gonna pop out and now we move our pan back. So this is going to be our oil filter. Just going to same thing, turn it counterclockwise. My goodness, they've really put the squeeze on this one. There's a rubber gasket that holds it in there good and tight. So moving it, it's not going to break loose like a bolt. But if you can just slowly turn it and then oil is going to pour out of this thing all over the place and get all over your hands. I've seen where you put like paper bags or plastic bags over it to keep it, but you know what? A little dirt never hurt anyone. A little bit of oil. And then just put that right there in your pan. Here's our new filter. So most auto parts stores, you can go and pick up uh, your filter and your oil, they'll have a little chart that tells you exactly what it is that, uh, that you need. There's one little tip that uh, my uncle shared with me years and years ago. He was a, a mechanic in the Navy, but uh, just take a little dab of the old oil and run it around that little rubber gasket. And what that does, that establishes a nice wet seal so that that gasket's able to slip around and pull in tight and close up the gaps that, so that way you don't have any leaking. Then you put it up on here, turn it counterclockwise until it clicks. You heard just click right there. Turn it counterclockwise until it's right. Come on. It clicked the first time. There it goes. Nope. There it is and then should be able to just screw it back on. Uh, that'll just kind of help you keep it from cross-threading. Don't force it, don't manhandle it, don't crush it by any means. And then just put it on hand tight as best you can. Just like that. Find the little cap with the oil symbol on it. it looks kind of like uh, an Aladdin's lamp. Um, that's where your oil goes. So we'll take that off and then we'll just fill oil directly into there. If you're not an expert, don't have a full plan as far as what you're doing, I always just recommend using the vehicle's recommended oil. Uh, this one is 5W20 conventional. You just pour it directly in there. Don't try to go too fast. It'll spill all over the place. And if you spill some, it's not a big deal. It'll just burn off. It'll smell a little, uh, a little weird for a little bit. And once you get to enough where it's not pouring out, just tip it upside down like this and 
get every little bit out as possible and then make sure you check your dipstick make sure it's all going in there we can see what you got yep right at the fill line i'll show you here right on there so you've got the little hashes where if it gets into that area it's too low and you got this little notch here a little notch there kind of tells you right where it's at it's a little bit difficult to see just looks wet has a little bit of coloration to it that should be in good shape so that's right where we need to be pull that out grab this put our cap back on that's important take a quick look under the car make sure we're not dripping out anywhere nope all looks good there now we'll start her up make sure that we get uh, oil pressure All right, friends, well, we've effectively changed the oil in the car. It was not a difficult task. It's not complicated by any means, but it is uh, something that's good to do and good to know how to do. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you found this video informative or entertaining in any way, please hit the thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. It really helps out a lot. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing and see more of what we have going on here on the homestead. And uh, yeah. We'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye-bye. I'm gonna go clean up now. Yep. Oh.